To make the name flip, start with a new part. This procedure which I am going to show can be followed in any of the CAD modeling tool. Start with a sketch, select a plane and draw a rectangle or a square depending on the uh, size of the name flip you want. Now I am using 150 on both the sides. Then exit the sketch. Extrude for 35 mm. So after this, on this face, create a plane. So I will explain why this plane is useful in the later stage. Now select the adjacent face. Type the text you want. And adjust adjust the text the way I am showing. Select any font which is appropriate to you. The points on the text, points of the text you should uh, adjust as per the size that you have chosen. So for this case 100 is appropriate. Now exit the sketch and give cut to extrude. Remember here, flip the side to cut. Then give through uh, throughout. Now do the same thing on the plane which we created before. Type the other name which you want. Remember both names should have the same number of letters. Here also we use 100. So now as you can see it is uh, it is short so we will extend one, one side instead of 150 we will make it 200. So now it will accommodate two more letters. In this way you can adjust this, the overall dimensions. Now again give cut extrude. So after this step, we are uh, very close to the actual part. So if you carefully see here, well, let's hide this. If you carefully see, so you are able to see both names by rotating it by 90 degrees. So if so, the letters, the part of the model which we are interested in is this diagonal. Whatever letters or the area which is in this diagonal has to be left over. So let's remove the uh, excess or the area apart from the letters in diagonal. So there are multiple ways to remove but uh, I am just following this way to uh, remove it. So make sure you are not cutting the uh, necessary regions. So now cut through all. Make sure everything is selected. Now there is some area which is left out so let us uh, correct it. Now we have removed one half. Now follow the same procedure to remove the area on the other side. This is a very simple procedure which I am uh, taking you through. So now we are done. You remove uh, if there is any. Uh, uh, areas where there is some uh, uh, part which is left out. Now for this we have to give a base. To give the base, the base can be uh, uh, in any shape that you want. Now I, I am trying to create a rectangular uh, base for this. So here 
you have to do some iterations to find what is the angle uh, to which it, the base can adjust and also the overall dimension can be as per your wish this is just to keep all the letters in place you give some uh, curved radius uh, to look better and here it is the name flip is Uh, done and it is ready to print to print you have to save it in stl format uh, that is the format which is it will be uh, recognized by the slicing softwares i am using a creality slicing software i uh, as it was given uh, along with the creality uh, 3d printer i am using uh, ender 3 v2 neo so let's take this part give the base for this as you can see it is very big so let's uh, reduce the overall size uh, what i suggest is the shell you maintain as it is whatever is the default but um, the infill you maintain more than 20% keep it 30% so that uh, it it is it will help you to remove uh, supports without any problem so after this you generate the uh, g codes then uh, give this to a 3d printer and that will give you the part so this is the part with the uh, supports so i'll show you after uh, removing the supports so uh, this is the final part of name flip it is very uh, easy to make thank you for watching